Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Chatty Chatters. Hello and welcome, everyone. Good to see you all back for more of Lightyear Frontier. We played this game yesterday, but today it should be out for everybody. The official release day today for this one. We enjoyed it, and we're back for more. So good to see you all here. One's in the chat. Chat where you at? Throw a one in the chat. If you smash the like button, one's in the chat if you're a subscriber, one's in the chat if you're watching live, one's in the chat if you like tacos, one's in the chat if you like pizza. Yeah, don't forget to uh, smash that like on YouTube too to let YouTube know you would like to see more of this channel and that you'd never like to miss another notification. By the way, there's been some weird stuff. Yeah, so just double check and make sure you got notifications turned on to all, and then you should be good to go. All right, welcome back. Let's jump back into where we left off and continue. Oh, man, I want to build a farm like in the background. Also, this game is multiplayer, and it's out on uh, Game Pass, too. So if you have Game Pass, uh, you should have this game as part of Game Pass. It is up to four players, and it should be out on Steam, Epic, everywhere else. Use code Raptor at checkout. Let's go. And we'll continue our good old game from yesterday. <clears throat> yeah, thanks for all the ones, everybody. It's good to see everyone here. Oh, I hear alerts. I hear something working. What is it? Oh yeah, we're making some more uh, poly uh, berry oil. Okay. Oh yeah, we made ourselves a new. We're making a new little processing area here. Also, we want to build a, bar a little barn, but we're a little further away from making that. Looks like we need to get some more copper too. Okay. Uh, let's do. Yeah, it's morning. All right, we're gonna go do a little. Um... Oh, we want food. That's right. That's why we're making the poly berry oil. We're gonna go feed some critters so then we can work on our mining a little bit more. There's sweet fodder, which is with cat carrot oil, but we're growing that now. Also, apparently this requires polyberry seeds. Interesting. So we don't want to plant all the seeds. Some seeds we want to keep, okay. Oh, it looks like we should start watering too. Stardew Valley has a big update today as well, everybody. 1.6 is out, so very excited for that. Subs Lusanda, good to see you. By the way, YouTube chat, don't forget we're over on Twitch, exclamation point Twitch in the YouTube chat. And you guys should be able to uh, follow over there as well. Lots of other emotes and other goodies over there. Plus, if you have Twitch Prime, you can drop off your Twitch Prime sub and support the channel there too if you'd like to. Thank you very much for all the support. I saw, by the way, for Stardew Valley that uh, there's a whole new map and it lets you start with some chickens and stuff at, right at the start, so... You can kind of have like a little chicken farm and go for more of a ranch at the start, which is pretty cool. Very excited for that. What's up, G Flow? Okay, looks like we need to go get some more water. Oh, the merchant's here too. What's up, Gavin? Welcome back, dude. So we're going to go get copper and aluminum and then work on upgrades for the mech. We're gonna upgrade the big O mech, which is pretty cool. All right, are these, yep. Okay, cool. Hey, what's up? Uh, no mercy. Good to see you. It's been a fun game so far. All right, we need to go get more seeds too, and aluminum this morning. That was up there, I think. Steam says it'll be downloadable in two hours. Okay, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's available. See, the 
sometimes the trouble with all these different platforms that you can download stuff now, sometimes they like let you download a game a little earlier than another platform. So for example, maybe this is out now on PlayStation, you can go play it there. Maybe it's on Game Pass, but not on Steam yet, that kind of thing. So just, uh, you know, it's out now, it's out today. Just uh, make sure you check it. Oh, I noticed uh, they did a little update to where it'll tell you what you found so far. Is there a way to check that in the map itself? Oh yeah, there you go. Artifacts, three out of nine, so we got a few more to find, and then two out of six treasures. Okay, very nice. Kitty. Oh yeah, there's a Steam demo too. gonna go find some more treasures soon that's gonna be <clears throat> probably something we do a little later I'm just gonna focus on the materials first so we can get upgrades done so let's definitely get these need to get that red crystal y'all and... oh we're already over encumbered really Good morning, Dylan. Welcome aboard. All right, coal is locked in. Ah, uh, there's some aluminum. That's what we're looking for. Ooh, there's quite a bit of it, actually. Look at that. There's really a lot of it. Feeding those animals pays off, because then they give you all these extra little bonuses. All these extra things to harvest. This is good. Hopefully we won't need aluminium for a little while. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. No. Now let's see. Yeah, actually, No Mercy, if you were a little more intelligent, you'd know that we're also streaming on YouTube. And that we've got uh, hundreds of people watching over there, and uh, we're starting to grow our Twitch channel as well. And uh, your abrasiveness and rudeness is just not going to be tolerated, so enjoy the door. This place probably isn't for you. We're kind of about patience and kindness and just being chill here, and... Uh, your narcissism is just not gonna just not gonna work for us, so enjoy the door. Yeah, I know, already chat. Good morning from Brazil. Well good morning. Thanks for tuning in. Well handled, yeah, thank you. Well, that person asked if it was on Steam, and I didn't. I didn't answer in the time that they wanted to answer. So then they went right into attack mode on only X number of viewers, even though we've been live for only like 15 minutes, and uh, you know whatever else. So uh, don't need that. So thank you for taking the trash took itself out. So thank you. Not going to be tolerating that. If you don't like the way somebody's streaming a game, then you are completely welcome to fire up your computer, download OBS for free, buy a game, and start streaming it on some of these free platforms. It's totally free to stream. And kindness is also free as well. But some people can't even afford that. Wow, we got a lot of aluminum from that. And a little bit of redstone, or whatever it's called, red rock. Uh, let's RTB. We're going to have to go get copper later, I think. How was the vacation? Oh, it was very good. I enjoyed my time. Raptors are the best. Well, thank you. Welcome back, too, Andy. Good to see you. Welcome. 
and Triceraflops, good to see you in the Twitch chat. Amir Trill, thank you very much for being here too. Welcome to everybody over on Twitch. Thanks for watching too. I need to get some more food, I think, to feed these. Do I? Hey there, little fella. Oh, yeah, I gotta feed more of them. Very cool. Andrew, thank you very much for the 26 months, dude. Good afternoon to everyone. Welcome back, Raptor. Welcome back to you, too. Good to see you. What's my most favorite vacation place? Probably places I haven't been that I go to for the first time. And I get to experience everything that's new traffic signs, language, trams. Um, food. All good stuff. Yeah, this game is very beautiful, yeah. And thank you to everybody with all the Twitch follows, too. Thank you for the support. Okay, four aluminum rods there. Okay, I think we have more stone and storage. Oh, whoa. Alright. That's good. Okay, what did we need to make this? It was, uh... Oh, just some stone. Yeah, we're in a Helldivers 2 mech? Yeah, exactly. Democracy, brother. Already full. <coughs> okay, so we need the stone for that one. Oh. That stuff goes flying. I wonder why it flies so far. Yeah, that's coal, I think, yeah. Gonna need to get a little more organized here. Then again, I think I'm going to only organize when we finally get the barn. Oh, do we not have any more stone? Oh, wait, maybe it's in here. Nope. And no. Okay, we'll have to go get some. Well, thank you very much for watching there, uh... Epic fails and game thrills. Yeah, for every rude person, there's like 150 nice people, so uh, we don't have to worry about that too much. That's nice. Okay, 24 stones. Is that... Bad. Okay. I thought it was like one of those weeds that falls every once in a while. Okay, so let's build this. Nice. And let's do some plant oil. Probably need that too. Okay, so we gotta make some aluminum frames and copper or is required for that, so I guess we'll get some sleep. Or wait, let's check upgrades first. Iron parts, red lens. Aluminum electronics, that's probably going to take um, I think that's both aluminum and maybe copper. Copper wire, power cores, copper wire. Okay, so we're going to need a lot of copper. 
Oh, this we can actually get the seed shooter lock on. All right, let's get that. Okay, so there's new things that we don't have yet. All right, let's hit the hay. Anyone uh, tell me how much it's going to be when it drops? Yeah, uh, I don't. I didn't see anything on the Steam store page yet. But I would just say uh, check Steam or wherever you plan to get it. Uh, it also will be a free on Game Pass, so that's gonna be cool. You have to have Game Pass in advance, of course, but you know. Morning. Hope you had a good night's sleep. Remember to harvest any crop that has become fully grown today. No use in waiting for that Ooh. sweet reward any longer oh. than needed. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Wow. I've been enjoying this game, yeah. It's fun to play. Yeah, this is the type of game we like here. Chill, casual farming. I'm all for that. Alright, today let's go try to get some copper. I'm going to throw all this away and... Oh, wait. We want to make some food first. Let's make sour. Maybe I'll have to buy some seeds from that lady. Make nice fodder. Make like 10. Uh, maybe more than that. I'll make like 20. Cool. And, uh, Idmetriel, thank you very much for the, uh, Twitch Prime sub. Welcome aboard. Thank you for your support. Happy Vernal Equinox. Really? <laughs> Merry birthday. Oh, yes, on Saturday. My birthday soon, chat. I'm very excited. I'll be at, uh, PAX. I'll be in Boston on Saturday. Well, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, I'm very excited. Very happy. Uh, we gotta do some watering. Oh, I'll do that maybe when we get home. Oh, merchants here. Okay, let's feed animals, or rather find nests, and then go get copper. Uh, so we need to go. Where was copper? Oh, down there in the lowland. Okay. Gotta go south. Cool. Yeah, this game is multiplayer up to four. Yep. Honestly, I think this is the type of game where if I had some extra time to play with friends, I would want to do like a solo map just for me and then also one with friends. And I feel the same with like Stardew too, where it's... Like for example, Stardew... Valley 1.6 comes out today and it'd be cool to experience all the new stuff on your own at your own pace but then of course do stuff with friends too where, where you can all cooperate and uh, build stuff and whatever together oh there we go there's a nest hello what do you guys like nice fodder okay this is one of my favorites. So it looks like some of the nests take like three or four booge. You really want to have a nice farming game where you can just chill and hang out with friends? Yeah, even farming simulators like that, like the realistic farming game, it's, it's kind of cool where everybody can be working on the same field or next to each other and kind of work on a project together. It's a very special thing to be able to to work on so many things with friends. Where maybe not, you're not directly doing the same thing, but you're all a part of the of the system. Wow, look at that. There's so much copper here. This is great. Delightful.
Oh, that's a lot more copper than I was expecting. Oh, we're gonna be over encumbered again. That's fine. So wh what is this place? That's the lowland plains, okay. Do the deposits respawn? Yeah, they do. Each day they'll respawn. If you, um... The way this game works is there's critters out there, little creatures, and if you feed them, like if you if you farm pellets and things like that and go and feed them at their nests, or individually, it'll make them happier. And if you do that, for whatever reason, it'll just make more things spawn in each region. So basically, when you farm, you're not just like... You don't necessarily just have to sell all the vegetables for money or whatever. You can use it to make different types of feed for different creatures that then help your mining operation. It's a little weird. You know, why would feeding, like, a bunny help you to discover more aluminum? But it's a cool way to do it because then it's not constantly, like, um... You don't necessarily have to keep those animals. They're, like, in the wild and you just kind of feed them. What is that? <clears throat> yeah, you have to start over uh, from the demo, yeah. We did yesterday, though. We're, we're about uh, maybe three or four hours into the game now. And we spent a lot of time... It plays a little differently. So we spent a lot of time uh, mining some different stuff. Oh, a little pond here. Let me get that rock. Uh oh. What are these? Oh, Karoots. It seems like because they've added more stuff to the game, it takes a little longer to... Like in the demo, you're able to build the barn pretty quickly and do some stuff a lot faster. This game's a little... The full game's a little slower, but it's not because they've slowed it down. It's because they've more like added more stuff to it, I think. I think we fed these guys already. The Twitch stream looks way better than YouTube. Yeah, that's uh, kind of typical. We are streaming at a little bit of a different bitrate for uh, Twitch than YouTube, but uh, that's kind of how it goes. Hey, look at that. We found some stuff. Whoa, what is this? Yep, another ruin site. I wonder what it has in store for us. If you're worried about alien monsters, don't be. These things have not moved an inch since I first arrived. Whoever used to live here has not been around for a long time. Yeah, this is an early access game. I don't know why. I think uh, they just haven't added the end game area to the game yet. I wonder what this could be. It looks like pretty much the whole game is here. Maybe just not the end game stuff. We'd have to check the Steam store page for more info. See the roadmap and stuff. I wonder what this could be. I wonder what this could be. Uh, the problem about being over encumbered is we can't jump, we can't use our rockets. It makes walking a little bit of a pain. Hey, what's up, Mark? Yeah, I had a good vacation. Thanks for being here. Good to see you back. Nice. Bye. Whoa. Landed it. <laughs> okay, landed it in the water. We're good. We're fine, we're fine. Okay, well, we got lots of copper. We did find a ruin up there. There's got to be a way to get in from below. That was epic, yeah. Landed it. Oh, there's more stuff to clean up there. That's a new biome. That's the Stepstone Peak. Well, I guess we could find out what's up there. We've discovered coal so far. I did a backflip. I sure did, yep. Does everyone like me and always turn vibration off, never see the point of it? Um, I guess I've always had it on because I've grown up with that with, with, like since PlayStation 1, but you can definitely turn it off if you want to. Okay, so we need a better hose upgrade to clean this. We'll come back. Yeah, I, I'd say if you want, if you want to, pl like, if you're for sure going to get this one, I think you could skip the demo and just go right into the game because your demo progress won't carry over, which is okay. The demo does play a little differently; it's a little different pacing. But, but if you're not sure if you want this game or if you just want to try it out, free Steam demo is on their Steam store page. 
Might be on PlayStation and some other stuff too. Alright, we're gonna go home. See if we can finish building our new stuff. Some more copper. The way some of these things are shaped really reminds me of Astroneer. Not nearly enough games offer a demo. I completely agree. I honestly think that uh, one of my favorite things that Steam does, and we cover this every um, three months when there's like a new... It's called the Steam Next event. And every like three months, Steam will try to contact game developers and be like, hey, we're going to have this big thing. We're going we're gonna to push and showcase all these free demos. You guys should make a demo for your game before it comes out. And that's how we were able to play Manor Lords like two years ago. And that's how we were able to play all these like cool games early. And a demo is good because like, I feel like any time I've been excited for a game, playing a demo has made me go from like 99% that I want to play it to like 110%. Like, it just gets me more excited for games that I already know I'm going to like. Like uh, Broken Arrow and stuff. Sometimes those are like betas and things, but um, usually they're pretty good. What is going on here? A Znork? Some of these creatures only come out at night? Hey there, little fella. I think those bo well, those guys got fed. Maybe some creatures are only nocturnal. I didn't see their nest or anything, but... Okay, time to carefully and gently go down the mountain. We did it! I honestly thought I was going to fall, but I didn't. Alright, RTB. Yeah, that's true. It is nice whenever there's a demo, then players can give feedback and stuff too, yeah. Absolutely. And then other times we'll just get surprise good games like uh, Helldivers, which is just a lot of fun. Yeah, we used to have a lot of demos back in the day because there wasn't... The, the internet was around, but it just was nowhere near good to be able to download anything or do anything with it. And so it was really nice when we would have, like, PlayStation demo discs or whatever, would, which would come out, like, once a month. Or there'd be, like... Oh, there, there was many ways to get different demo discs. There's, like, PlayStation official ones, and then some of the magazines had them. And it was just so fun to be able to play, like, 10 or 15 different games before, you know, before they came out. Alright, let's make like six of those. Oh, we can make aluminum electronics. Do that requires the wire. Okay. Let me check again and see what needs what. Okay, so that's four aluminum frames times two. So we need eight. What's up, Vinyl Rabbit? Welcome back. And hello, Dire Spitfire. Good to see you too. Hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Welcome to the Big O Stream. We want eight of these. And we'll go finish our flower our flower presses. Any starting tips for the game? Um Not really. I don't I don't think there's really too much um I feel like this is a pretty one uh, one of the most straightforward games we played. Uh I guess other than note note that uh, it's probably a good idea to sleep in the game if you build a house and decorate it, it does what it does in like Enshrouded or Valheim or like V Rising where the more decorated your house is you get bonuses and stuff for that. So there is a there's a cozy factor in the game which is really cool. I do like that. Where decorating your house uh, gives you a lot of uh, like bonuses for doing that. Wakey wakey partner. The weather's real nice. Let's get out there and seize the day. Real nice. It looks like it's foggy, man. Alright, cool. We finished our grinder. Okay, now we can make red crystal dust, stone dust, and noxious spores. Wonderful. Who doesn't love a good old-fashioned noxious spore? Make blue and red paint here. Okay.
Okay, uh, find a color flower. We found many of those. I think now we can start painting our buildings. By default, I think everything's blue. Uh, let's offload some of our stuff. I guess another thing to note is storage in this game is kind of like, it, it's tight. So definitely build a lot of storage. You might want to build a shed just for like storing um, a ton of boxes or something. Oh, I didn't even water our plants yesterday. Alright, today we'll water. I guess another thing to note in this game is... Everything takes time. It's like in, you got to kind of like pick one thing to do for the day. Like if you're going to leave and go mining, just go. Especially on a rainy day. Giant hugging robots. Yeah, we'll, hu we'll hug it out. Oh, there's some nasty slime there. Yeah, demo discs were legendary for sure. How large is the barn we're working forward to? Um, I can't remember, but I know you can f you can fit a lot of machines in it. If I had to guess, I'd say it's like four of these sheds put together. No, it's more than that. It's pretty pretty big. <clears throat> Plus, I think if you put um, machines under shelter like that, it gives them a bonus. And I think there might be synergy. So if the more machines you have under uh, shelter, the more effective they are. Looks like we were attacked by Noxious. Let me go clean that junk. some upgrades too now that we got some more copper and aluminum. Might need to make those um, electronics now. You're getting slime ranch revives from this? 100%. Yep. A little um, slime rancher and a little bit of scrap mechanic in here too. Good, I think I got most of everything. Um, try to work on our upgrades now, I guess. Sweet. Bow, bow. Meow, meow, meow. Okay, spike saw. Uh, let's try this one. Uh, inventory capacity increase. We get over encumbered quite often. Pathmaker. Oh, yeah, we can make roads too. Okay, cool. Irrigation hose power, red crystal dust by 10. Okay, so we're going to make red crystal dust and let's get this show on the road. aluminum. Uh, the aluminum electronics. So that means we probably need, surprise, surprise, aluminum. I uh, should sell them. Buying that for a lower price. Let's take the red crystals. Let's take the aluminum. Trying to put all this stuff together for now. Okay, let's see how this works. Alright, so let's do stone, cr red crystal dust. That's two each, right? If we do five, that should be... Ah, we'll need more. I'll just put a full thing in there, full stack. 
Uh, maybe more poly berry oil. How do we make the electronics? Oh, so we need wire and aluminum. Okay. So we can make two. So I gotta make more wire. How do I make wire? Here. Aluminum. Wait, what do I need more of? Oh. There we go. Cool. Oh, that unlocked new stuff for us. Goal post. Why does that require aluminum electronics? A goal post? Like to kick a football? That requires electronics? Alright, upgrade our inventory. Yeah, all right, now we won't be over cucumbered as much. No more cucumber emotes from chat. Good morning, Raptoria. Good to see all you Raptorians in. Welcome, good morning. Hello. Oh, that's gonna take a while. Okay, so grinding things is gonna take a bit. Look at how slow that is. We could build multiple uh, grinding things though. How much to make a second, maybe? Wait, we can put down a new decoration. A birdhouse. How cute. That takes a uh, aluminum frame and hardwood. Ooh, that gave a big boost to the house. Oh, right, we're trying to make uh, some haystacks and stuff behind the house, too, so we need the wheat to be done shortly. All right, let's sell with that lady and see if we can also buy some more wheat seeds. Fodder makes you want cookies, for sure. I like cookies. Anything we could trade with that lady? I think she'll take the geodes. Although for a lower price, but that's okay. Only buy, like, 2%. Oh, she's leaving. And we only had like one thing to trade. That's yeah, okay. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, our mech has like a tractor on the front of it, yeah. Our mech is really cool. Uh, you can customize it too. It's kind of like um, Pacific Drive in a way. Like you can kind of customize the appearance a bit. Yeah, save often, that's a good idea. I think this game saves automatically throughout the day. Oh, wow, this... Oh, it takes two minutes per... thingy. Okay. Oh, now we can make red glass and a color mixer. Okay. We also need to go find a color flower. I think we can grow those ourselves. And there's more of them around here somewhere. You were up late playing this game last night? Really? Good. 88 miles an hour, Marty. Any other tree types? Well, there's the color flowers. Do I just need to have them in my inventory? Oh, there we go. Uh, craft a color in the flower press. Oh, let's do red. I'd like to paint our buildings red. Then we could have a big old red barn. That'd be kind of cool. What's up, Krakador? It's going good. Welcome aboard. Yeah, it's kind of like the prawn suit a little bit from... Yeah, it reminds me of that too a little bit. From uh, good old Subnautica. 
All right, let's make some red paint. And eh, maybe we'll do a blue one too. Although everything in this game seems to be blue. I'll just uh, double down. There we go. Eventually, I have a feeling that our farm is going to become almost like the, um, you know, like when you play in my time at Sandrock or my time at Portia, that kind of thing. Yeah, this game's out today. Any crops to harvest? Everything, I think, is still growing. Nope, a few things are ready. Hold X to exit the mech. While outside the mech, like the paint gun. Oh, we can paint something. Alright, let's paint the house red. Oh, look at that. We can have a little red house. Or the flag we would paint red. That's cool. That's very easy. All right, so it looks like um, it's just a customization thing. I don't, I don't think painting things gives any bonus. Yeah, this is a very chill game. I don't think there's really any enemies, and there's no real dying or anything. It's very cozy and chill. And that's totally fine. Did I find the eggs near the mega building? I did find eggs. I don't know where it was, though. so much more storage. Okay, well now we can carry more stuff. What's something else we should work towards? Yeah, Harvest Moon with mechs, yeah. Yep. You know, actually, I think if we sleep, that'll be automatically done. So let's load that up and then go to bed. Day 17. Hope you're well this fine morning. Maybe we could put that new building to good use. New building. Okay, let's check for upgrades. Don't forget where you parked it. Okay, so we got... I guess we'll do all the tier ones first. So let's get the irrigation hose power one upgrade. Uh, we'll need the carrots to be done and probably go find more copper for that one. Power core, I haven't found that yet, so let's go get more copper. Gonna go do some mining. Now our mech has a capacity of 90, so that's good. I'll take the uh, treats with me. Oh, and it looks like some crops are ready to go. Pick those up on the way back. Can you <coughs> can you pet them or milk them to make cheese? Uh, I don't think so. Thanks, Dimitro. Thank you. Well, if you feed them individually they may drop items. I think if you feed their nest it auto feeds all of them. You can feed them from the nest but I think if you find them and feed them individually you get uh, like they could drop aluminum or something. Okay, we're definitely going over here and picking this stuff up. Wow lots of aluminum over here. Nice. 
And then copper is in the south. I think we might have to feed them every few days, so that, that'll be the purpose of the farm, I think, is to try to feed all the creatures, and then with the environment happy, it'll provide us with more goods. Oh, what is this? The Yellow Forest. More ruins. I haven't seen these ones before. I gotta admit, they do look a lot more intriguing from your point of view. Whatever material they're made of is incredibly resistant to scanning. From up here, they have the same readings as a dull rock. And I find most rocks fascinating. <laughs> I can't wait to analyze this. Okay, so if we mine enough of those things, we should get a blueprint from it. But it could just be a decoration for the house, so... What right. a fascinating discovery! Let's head back. We'll, we'll come back up here in a little bit. Okay. Well, let's head south to get copper. This reminds you of Astroneer. Yeah, I get that vibe, too. Especially with how the minerals look, like aluminum and copper. <coughs> All that stuff reminds me of uh, what it looks like in Astroneer. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, what's up, Niwa? And Crackader, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you guys for all your support. Birthday's on Saturday, by the way, so don't forget to uh, subscribe on YouTube and turn on that notification bell. I'll be going to Boston to uh, live stream from... P I'm going to be streaming from PAX. And uh, we're going to show off some cool new stuff, cool new games coming out soon. So uh, do follow over there. Also, exclamation point Instagram and exclamation point Twitter. You can follow on both of those as well. And uh, see what I've been up to for the last couple of weeks in Europe. And uh, what we'll be doing in Japan soon and Boston soon and back to Europe again, it seems. For another secret project. It's a good year. Oh, this is where we began the game, I think. Or no. Oh, this is the little temple thing. Okay. I think that, but beyond that door, I think, is where the end game content is that they haven't finished, which is why this is early access. It's a big old part of the map they haven't finished, I think. What's the secret? Mm, the secret is, I think they told me I can't tell you. <laughs> but I'll be going to uh, a place to look at a game, and it's a game that I think we're all excited for. Not only one game, but two games that this developer is working on. I think it's supposed to be a secret, though. I don't know if I can tell you or not. How does co-op work in this game? I haven't tried co-op yet, but I think... It works like... I think all players can either build their own farm or build together. In other words, I think everybody has to build their own house, but everybody can build like a, like a bunch of farm plots together and take turns working on like... Um, watering and, and harvesting and stuff like that. So everybody can have their own house but also everybody can work on the farm together, or maybe separately, too. Yeah. I'm going to look at GTA 7 and Red Dead Redemption 4. That's right. Confirmed. Yeah, we're already over encumbered? Jeez.
gotta be more copper than just these ones. <laughs> Come to Liverpool? I think I do want to at some point. I want to go see more train museums. I rode a lot of trains when I was in Europe, so that counts as like a museum. But if I could do a train, like ride a train and go to a museum combo, then I'll be happy. Is there a way to see our upgrades? I don't know if I got the upgrade yet for the mech for the, uh, the water pump. What's up, half a pint? Welcome back. Good to see you all. There's something glowing under there. Some things you just have to do yourself. Oh, a geode. Got him. Yo, Juan, thank you very much for the gifted membership for chat. Thank you very much for dropping a gift bomb for the chatty chatters. Yeah, I got uh, the the carrying capacity upgrade, and I think the seed lock-on upgrade. Right, I think it's time we head back to base. What's up here? Oh, there's a nest. Oh, there's too many, uh, still too poisoned for them to live. Okay. Alright, we'll make our way home then. Maybe we'll find some more uh, copper on the way. Oh uh, yeah, this is the early access release of this game. Out today. You know, let's see. Yeah, historical stuff? I do like historical. Let me check something real quick, chat. This might be helpful. Hmm... Try this. I'm gonna make a little pinned message just to uh, help everybody know a little bit more about the game. Keep in mind this is also on Game Pass, consoles, you name it. Go check your favorite stores, and it should be out. I, I hope now. hope it's out now. If not, in a, maybe an hour or two. Okay, so let's go back to base. RTB. Eventually, we should be able to make roads for this. Roads? <laughs> No, but for real, we could actually make roads across the map, so... We can make a road for our farm, and then, like, roads to go where we're going. I wonder if it'll actually increase the walking speed of the mech. That'd be cool. Don't forget, chat, we got to get those uh, gift bus emotes, gift bomb emotes in the chat for Juan for gifting a membership as well. That was awesome. Thank you very much. Don't forget, by the way, exclamation point uh, gift in the chat if you want to be gifted a membership. And if you get one, don't forget to say thanks to the uh, member who may have dropped a gift for you. Look at this guy. He's up here on the... He's sleeping on the house. Look at this guy. What you doing up there, pal? <laughs> Mom. Yeah, 
Okay, I think all of our stuff's pretty much full, too. Okay, let's check upgrades again, see what we need. Don't forget where you Unfortunately, I don't it. think there's a way to pin a recipe, which would be nice. Oh, there is a way to create mission. That probably is what we need to do. So we could probably get this one. Would you like to track this mission? Yes. Oh, there you go. Okay, cool. So you can pin recipes. Nice. Very helpful. We gotta harvest the carrots, I think. What are those? Whoa, everything's ready. Wow. Can you fast travel as well? Uh, good question. There might be a way to do that. Maybe we can build something later to fast travel. The map's not massive. So I think what they want you to do eventually is like to maybe build multiple farms. Or really like if you were playing multiplayer, everybody could kind of spread out a little bit and then build roads to each other's house like what we do in Valheim. Kind of build like a town. Why, oh, that was cool. How did those weeds keep getting in? Noxious weed just killed some of our wheat crop. They must have sprouted at, at random. Hmm. Jerks. Alright, let's grow some uh, carrots. whatever else we can. Ha! Into the yeah, fast traveling between different farms would be cool. I don't know. I think everything could be grown in these little plots, so I don't think anything's biome-specific. In other words, you can find a tree on the other side of the map and come back here and grow it. I think that's enough for now. Nope. All right, time to water. You like that the seeds are shotgun shells? It is pretty cool to like shoot uh, the ground and stuff for all that. Oh wait, are these ready? Not yet. Go get some water. Oh, it's almost daytime. Uh, time to sleep. Let's get the bonus. I want the wheat fields to be done though, so I can get more. Uh, I got. I'm gonna buy from that lady. We're gonna have to buy some. Wheat seeds because I need a lot more grain. Hey, hope you're well this fine morning. You've been doing real well since you arrived. All right, when she comes back. Oh, see, some of those become weeds. What the hell? Okay, we gotta make the oil now. Hell yeah, brother. Okay, that's done. I need to make five copper wire.
And then I need nine cat uh, carrot oil. Is there an energy source required to keep your tractor mech going? Uh, not that I've seen. It does shoot out smoke. But maybe there's some sort of a power source that will be... better? Maybe. Oh, merchant's here. Very nice. I don't know if we can go to other planets. I guess we'll find out as we play more. There, there may be other planets to unlock. Maybe that's something they got planned for the future. You know the light. Let's see. Okay, I definitely should buy some more uh, wheat seeds. What do we got for cash? Thousand bucks? I'll buy like 30. Steel. And I'll buy some of these too. Oh, she's got new blueprints, too. Lots of cool things to decorate with. Whoa, okay. Come back whenever you like. Okay, thank you, ma'am. What's up, Nadine? Good to see you. You think I played this demo with Red? This? Um, I played this solo. I don't know if the demo could be multiplayer. If you mean this game. Yeah, we're gonna have to make some bigger farm plots. Maybe we can actually make big ones. Happy birthday to me. Birthday soon. Very excited. Okay, let's do, um, oh yeah, we'll do some blueprinting. I don't want to make it too long. Maybe we'll add like another row here. Was there new stuff? Oh, there's the weather station. Ah, oh, there you go. I was wondering about that the other day. We can actually make a weather station and see upcoming weather. We'll need soft wood, red crystal dust, and copper wire. But the plots are a little more important now. Oh, well, they won't sn snap together now. Can make good use of this. Oh, I have to put it on snap mode, okay. Oh snap. Now this should make things easier. There we go. Okay. So now wood and plant fiber. Yeah, exclamation point uh, scheduled to see our upcoming streams. We'll be playing gas station simulator sometime this week. If and when they give us access to the uh, new DLC. Very excited. 
I've been saying it's almost like a whole new game because it's like the uh, traditional gas station simulator, but on a whole new map. So it's like... I don't know, there's something really cool about that. Okay, so do we need regular wood? This type of wood, I think. Uh, the ground changes color in these games. It's, it's like any farming game. When you water the uh, plants, the ground will change kind of a darker color. There's probably an automated way to do watering in the future. We just haven't unlocked it yet. We'll take care of the farm today. I think we're going to need a lot more wood. Yeah, we're actually in a gas station simulator, that's right. All the, the party bus raptor heads are all in that game. And we're even in the credits of the game, too, from the developers. Chat, you helped make that game. Yellow tree sprout, nice. What's the story of this game? Ah, your typical farming survival crafting game. In space. Julio, thank you very much for subscribing. For becoming a follower. Appreciate it. Thank you. Techno Viking from the game? Wait, what? Wait, was there a Techno Viking in Gas Station Sim? Yeah, laying out irrigation systems would be kind of cool. Okay, so now we just built a ton of new plots. Let's go plant some trees since we cut down a bunch of wood. Yeah, let's grow a bunch of wheat. I'm going to try to grow a lot of wheat for those decorations in the back. Uh, Nagabo... Oh, boy. I want to make sure I get this right. Nag Mahan, thank you very much for the five gifted memberships for the chat. Thank you very much for your support. Party bus emote. I guess we'll keep the party bus emote in, huh? Because we're going to have a party bus when we play Gas Station Simulator's title wave DLC. Fresh soil. So a lot of you will be able to uh, drive around in the party bus. Courtesy of all of our awesome members. Thanks, guys, for all the member bombs. Great shot. 
Oh boy. Alright, at this point, there's got to be like an easier way to do this. Manually doing all these farms is going to be a lot. There's got to be some other way to... I guess the upgrades will help with that in the future, maybe. We'll see what, what we get. Shouldn't it become a party boat? Yeah, maybe. We'll see what, like, happens in the DLC. Could be right. Go get some more water. Eventually, we can upgrade our more like better water capacity and stuff. So, Julio, it's nice to watch over on Twitch. Yeah, the Twitch quality might be a little better. Thanks for watching. Till a rainy day. It's, it's gonna take all day to water all this. Bum, 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 bum. I think I got them all. Nope. Still some here. Wow, we need so much water. Yeah, this is on Game Pass today, yes. Alright, hopefully that's good enough for now. Let's upgrade our uh, vacuum and then go to bed. We got another upgrade! So the vacuum power upgrade complete. Sweet. Now we need red lenses and blue crystal dust. And power cores. Don't know how to make that yet. Decorating you did yesterday really lit up the place. It's really beginning to feel like a home. It's really starting to look like a home. According to her. Okay, so... Um, 
Where are we going? Oh, I could have put some more stuff in there. So if we're if we're making lenses, does that mean we need quartz, maybe? Make some stone dust while we're away. We might need to make that too. Oh, and uh, some more crops are ready. Okay, cool. Bum, 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 bum. I've been enjoying this game. Yeah, I think it, it, I think it's fun. Oh, we need more storage, though. Did we find anything else in these other? Okay, just coal and then copper down there. So maybe we should head east. But it looks like we might have to go through or over a mountain. Or maybe through the yellow forest. Maybe we should go deal with the yellow forest. Let's build more sturge. Yeah, of course. We'll need more wood for all that. Hmm. I don't think the crop. Well, maybe the crops uh, go bad if you don't harvest. Maybe maybe they turn into that noxious weed and then like kill the other plants. I'm not sure. that or they just don't grow. Maybe they don't die or anything bad happens. Maybe they just don't grow. Nadim, someone gifted you a membership? Awesome. Well, thanks for saying thank you. Very nice. Okay. So we need to... make some more storage. Oh yeah, this would be a great Steam Deck game, yeah. I'm kind of running out of spots to put stuff. move all these boxes inside when we finally make a barn. Okay. Empty out the old inventory again. So yeah, for those of you asking about tips earlier, yeah, biggest tip is uh, storage. You're going to need a lot of storage. This would be a good VR game, yeah. Okay, let's head out to the new area. So the mountain, somewhere around the mountain. Yep. So either there's a way through the mountain or around the mountain. Or maybe we'll go through the yellow forest and start restoring that. Maybe we'll find new minerals that way. of this Crocus boss. Oh, I think this is the beginning area of the game. Maybe here? Oh, it is. Lots of wood in here. Come back and cut down a bunch of trees. That's where we crash land at the beginning. 
Maybe I can go this way. Ooh. There's a bunch of aluminum down there. We just need to go east. You know, I also saw the other day, I thought of Dirty again when I saw that uh, lawnmower simulator was getting VR. And I was like, yeah, that's actually kind of cool. Lawn mowing simulator, actually legit. And the fact that they're getting VR, even cooler. Ah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Easy now. Stretching the legs, huh? We're fine. We're not fine. Not cool. Oh, that's the area with the big door in it. Okay. There a way through here? Oh, I forgot to mention uh -huh. this huge door. It completely slipped my mind. Did some scans on it many years ago, but the readings were mostly nonsense. Now hang on a second. The energy readings are spiking right now. Could could this place have been activated somehow? Hmm. But it looks like it's got a bit more to go. Whatever we've been doing around here, let's keep doing it. Okay, so we're in the Stepstone Peak, so if we go left, we can get up there. Now yeah, maybe we can work on cleaning this out. Find out what's here. Chad, I got good insurance, okay? Don't don't worry about the mech. We, we're, we're, we're well insured. I wonder if I can clean out a bunch of this this way. We can. We basically shoot water grenades. Oh yeah, sweet. Love it. lot to clean up. Oh, never mind. We're already up to like 27%. Not bad. There's a lot of mess over here. Whew. Where'd that water go? Wait, where was that little pond? Oh, it doesn't even show the region until you've, like, cleaned it up? It doesn't give you the world map. That's interesting. Uh-oh. People hiding in the bush again. Uh, oh. Is that a cave? No. Ah, there's the water by this tree. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta go to the pink willow for that. Yeah, under the pink tree, yep. Correcto Mundo. Hey, what's up, Mon? Welcome back. This one's not too bad to clean up. A little mix of... Um, Plucking weeds and closing down the slime. Nice and tidy. Remove 50 noxious slimes.
We're at 50%. So I want to mark this then for tomorrow. We'll, we'll come straight here and clean this up. And maybe when it reveals the map, it'll show us what some of the minerals are that are here. I want to be able to find quartz so we can possibly make lenses. I'm assuming what it is is there, there was like the red lens and stuff. I think we might need quartz to make glass and then maybe we'll have to like dye the glass in a way. Like use that red crystal. Combine those two together. Wow. I need more water capacity. Can I feed you guys yet? Nope. I see another pink tree over there too. Uh, maybe that's the theme is pink trees equal water. But you might need to be able to break the plug on the water. Like the little uh those little rock thingies. Wow, each of these are worth like only one percent. That's crazy. Alright, I'm heading home for the night. Or maybe we should just work through the night. Yeah, I think we'll just do that. I wonder what our range is on water. Like, can I gather it from up here? No. I know, ma'am. I was getting excited. I'm sure we could upgrade those thrusters to let us go higher. Time for some action. And further. Always hilarious when your mech tips over. There's more. Always more. Use the vacuum here. That didn't do nothing. Is there any water up here? Oh, we're at 88% though. I'm pretty sure if we get close to like, I think 92 to 97, it'll just auto-complete, I think. Landed it. Bloop, 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 bloop. A little extra for the road. Okay, so we're at eighty eight percent. I think there's like Two more slimes up here, and then maybe some more weeds. There's another tree down there.
Nice. Is there yellow flowers? Okay, maybe that's a new resource we can uh, harvest. A new color. We'll grab those. Alright, let's go see if there's more stuff down here. YouTube didn't tell me about no raid. Welcome to Prawl and their viewers. Thank you very much for the support. Welcome aboard. Welcome to Lightyear Frontier. A game about farming sometime in the future with mechs. And multiplayer and more. Seems cool so far. I've enjoyed it. Need to find a few more things to clean up here. We're on like uh, like Super Mario Sunshine Patrol right now. We're trying to get rid of all the gunk. I'm looking for more gunk and more little weeds to pluck, basically. Is the 2070 Super still good? For graphics cards? I don't know too much about uh, graphic cards and such. So definitely feel welcome to ask our Discord. And it kind of depends on what you're looking to play. Oh, it's a new day. And I just found some gunk. This is good. Day 20. Let's go. Morning. Hope you had a good night's sleep. The weather's real nice. Let's get out there and seize the day. There we go. Hey, we did it! All right, finally. Region restored. Look what can we that. find? Another region fit for life. Speaking of, you want to know what PRP3R stands for? It's Piper. Planetary Inhabitability Probe, the generation of life. This part's pretty self-explanatory. I look at a planet and tell Earth if it can sustain human life. Third generation is well. It took them two complete redesigns to make satellites that wouldn't break on their journey here. Oh, wow. Suppose I should consider myself lucky. But we all knew sacrifices were necessary. Petrified eggs? What are they afraid of? Yeah, this game is chill. Uh, if you like Stardew Valley, it, it's definitely that, minus like all the people in the town. But just think of like Stardew meets um, Satisfactory... Maybe a little bit of scrap mechanic, and it all comes together. By the way, speaking of Stardew, don't forget, guys, uh, Stardew Valley, version 1.6, out today. Oh, there it is, Mountainside Coast. Oh, lots of eggs here. Another region to clean, but I'm mostly here to find out what's new in terms of mi minerals and materials. A oh, gravel gourd? A gravel gourd sprout. All right, well that's new. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit to get up there. We might need advanced thrusters or something. All right, let's get to work. Okay, before we go into a new area, I think we should try to continuously reclaim and then find out what's in these old areas. If we can go feed these creatures now, we might be able to uh, get more resources from it too. Now, there was a little nest around here somewhere. Maybe it was up here. Chad was also telling me about a yellow flower, too. Be on the lookout for that. You want something chill to play? You just turn 30? Oh, this would be good. Oh, this seems like a good game for any age, really. Volcano. Cool. Cool volcano, bruh. A volcano, bro. 
There we go. Alright, so now we found a yellow flower. And there's the nest. Oh. Maybe they only come out at night? Oh yeah, Dwarf Romantic, that's another chill game, yeah. Well, looks like we have another creature to feed. Are we in the right spot? Oh, this is part of the edge cliffs, okay. Seems like there's one more ruin here? Oh, I see it. I see you. That's the last piece of the puzzle. I think I figured out what this was. We unlocked a strange chair. Okay. So now we know that the edge cliffs has care root, coal, copper ore, and red color flowers. And then it has three different nests, but I can't tell what animals are there. But we've only found three out of five treasures. Here it's one out of five. Maybe there's not creatures here. Looks like there's a lot of materials in the lowland, though. Look at that. Coal, copper, ore... I think that's the way we should go. Find out what's there. Whee! That'll buff out. That'll buff out. It's fine. It's fine. It'll buff out. Oh, got to clean up those. But we're going to have to upgrade the harvester again. Okay. So we can't do this one. Not yet, anyway. Nothing romantic, please. Just looking for fun. Uh, Dwarf Romantic is all about city building. It, there's nothing to do with, like, relationships. The name does... <laughs> it does imply that it's like a dating game or something, but... Uh, Dwarf, I think, is a... Isn't that a German word for, like, village? And Romantic, I think, just reply, it implies... Uh, <sighs> that is just kind of lovely and cozy... Something like that. I can get rid of these. Also, that might be one of those games that's like free on Epic Game Store every once in a while. Every what is it, Thursday? If you're a gamer on a budget, uh, the Epic Game Store every Thursday drops like two free games for everybody to download. They're usually quite good. They're usually like really good games or interesting. They've done like Grand Theft Auto before. We played a game recently called uh, Boxes. And it was like a game about unlocking puzzle boxes. It was a genius game, very good. And they had the prequel, a game that they made before that on there called Doors where you'd like try to unlock doors and stuff with different it's a little bit of a puzzle game but uh, very very well done for free doors was also uh, 
I think um, I just got an email from, uh, I think it's, uh, is it Cyan? The folks who made Mist? And they pretty much already confirmed that Riven is, like, being worked on and being made and coming out, but Riven's confirmed and being remade and coming out. Like, they, they showed a lot more pictures about it, and they're like, it's official, we're, we're, like, remaking the game, even though they kind of already, they kind of already announced it before. Like, there's no secret that they were working on it, but... What is this? A what now? A pond pitcher. Are you going to eat me? Oh no. Sir, what are you doing down there? Seems to hold wa a limited amount of water, but not sure how that works. There's another one. Secret area. Don't forget where you parked it. Hmm. All right, we found some coal. That's a big old pitcher of water. I'm not sure what that's for, though. Like, obviously, we can suck up water from it, but does it replenish? There was nothing nearby to clean with it either. Oh, a white flower. Yeah, this reminds me of Grounded a little bit too. That's a fun game. What is this? Fractile Ore. Ooh. Well, we just found a bunch of secrets. New ore, new flowers. Nice. Fractile ore, we've unlocked. A mansion and a solar dehydrator. We can now build a mansion. We're gonna need a lot more of that fractile ore, but yeah. So that is probably something that grows in this biome. So if we clean it all out and then if we take care of the creatures here, we'll get a lot of that stuff. We'll have to ma mine it, of course. <clears throat> yeah, the flowers are for making paint, yeah. And it seems like what we can do is we can maybe grow those flowers, make paint out of it, and then sell it to that lady for a lot of money, the, the merchant that comes by. Anything up there? I guess not. Bum, bum, bum. All right, well, we can always come back. I'm assuming some of these things will respawn.
Ah. Oh, more white flowers. All right, let's head back home. What if we could make multiple houses? That way we could sleep in multiple areas. That'd be kind of cool. I could imagine that even in solo, we should be able to build multiple houses and farms. I think so. Hey, what's up, Ethan? Welcome back. Made it home. <laughs> I fell asleep. We, uh, yep. So three more biomes to clean up, and then we've unlocked the big O door. Morning. Hope you had a good night's sleep. Restoring that region yesterday felt right. Maybe there was some more good to be done around here. Keep a lookout, will ya? <laughs> I was dead tired. Literally fell asleep, yeah. I guess that's another thing, too, is that all the extra materials and things you grow, you can not only sell, but then use to decorate. Oh, we got seeds. Cool. And this already full too, man. Okay, let's see. Yeah, sleep at the wheel exactly. Oh no way, there's other characters in this game? Let's make our way uphill to get better reception. Oh, I didn't think we'd be meeting somebody else. Alright, cool. That's a delightful surprise. Let's drop off the rest of our stuff. And go find out who the heck's up there. Jumping with joy. Okay, um where are they? Up there? Oh, there's like a whole different... Oh, yeah. We're going to need advanced thrusters to get over there. We're going to have to jump across all those islands. Where is this guy? Over there. Reach a place with good signal reception. Let's do it. Should have a good reception up here on the mountain. Um. 
Out of the way, tree. Guilty of treason. There am I. Maybe this way? Oh, actually, that, that could be possible. I did it! Had to throw on diff lock all wheel drive, but it worked. Threw the chains on too. You. Okay, let's see who this guy is and what he wants. Alright, looks like this spot is our best bet to catch that signal from before. If we build a radio tower right here, I bet you will be able to send a reply. Oh, we gotta build a radio tower now, okay. So what what's the recipe for that? Oh, oh. Suddenly it appears, okay. Oh, look at all that. Twelve hardwood, five aluminum frames, five, three aluminum electronics, and eight copper ore. Okay, well, we, I, we can either make those things or we have those things, so that's good. Can I uh, pin the recipe? Well, it says to build the radio tower, but it doesn't let me, like, keep track of the list. Alright, well, uh, let's head home. That's where all of our stuff is. Should build a video tower instead, since the video killed the radio star? That's true. Here, I'm just gonna take a screen... I'm gonna take a picture... with my phone... on what we need. Maybe it'll list it for us, but I think they could have did a little, a little better with laying that out. Take a shortcut back. Never mind. Oh, there's a waterfall there, pretty. Whee! Okay. Yep, just stretching the legs, ma'am. I know, the hero landing for me. I know. Okay, so we want to go to... Home. And there's lots of water there. Yeah, I was tripping over them. <laughs> my own metal feet, I know. Ah, we're good. We made it down. I wish um, maybe there was something to make it so we could climb up hills rather than using the jetpack. OK, 
Okay, let's quickly grab what we need, or see if we have what we need. Alright, so what did we need again? Um, I don't know if we actually have what we need. We're going to have to make more. Oh, do, do we not have enough? Okay, there's the aluminum and the copper. I think we need polyberry oil, too. Okay, so we needed, um... Check this again. We need 12 hardwood, 5 aluminum frames. Yeah, chat, you're right. Let's grab all of them. Okay, so hardwood complete, aluminum frames. I need some more oil for that, I think. It was five frames. Okay, then eight electrical parts. That's going to require a, a copper wire. So we need eight of that? Wait, what's the ratio? One. So we need eight. And then we needed three electronics. Okay, so let's check our shopping list real quick. So 12 hardwood, yep. Got that. Five aluminum frames, got that. Electronics, three, got that. And then copper ore, we need eight. And we have ten. So we're good to go. All right, let's uh, sleep and we'll head to the radio tower tomorrow. Good job, chat. We did it. Just got to go build that bad boy now. Good morning, sleepyhead. Let's do some exploring today. Mm -hmm. Who knows what we'll find out there. Oh, did these all die? Or how does it work? Well, they all seem alive. Oh, actually, they're being overtaken by those damn roots. Oh, okay. So if they dry out... You get the seeds back. Okay. So they can quote unquote die, but you just get the seeds back. Okay. Wait. That soil's still kind of wet, though. Some of that soil wasn't completely dried out. You know, I'm going to rip out all these seeds and we're going to start fresh so we can be more organized. And we'll buy some more seeds from that lady too if we need more. That way everything can be starting from day one. Maybe we'll just plant when it's only raining? It's been a while since it's rained. We'll plant when it rains so that way we can save some time. All right, let's go build this radio tower. I want to get wheat so we can finish the decorations at the house. Here. Okay, is there an easier way up there? 
Oh, it doesn't mark it on the map. That's kind of weird. It's like marked in front of us, but it marks the POI, but I don't see it on the map. A little weird. Both, Tim. Both. Yeah, if it doesn't rain, we'll have to water, yeah. Oh, this is supposed to be the intended route, I guess. Oh, we can't be over encumbered. Otherwise, we can't make the jump. Hmm. There is an upgrade for that, right? Uh, maybe not, because I haven't found everything yet in the game. There might be a way around this, though. I got an idea. There might be a way around this. Cat's hiding in that bush again. Mm-hmm. Yo, Vinny, thanks for the follow on Twitch, dude. Thank you. So, leave the oil there. I don't even know if the seeds really have much weight, do they? I could leave the aluminum. There we go. So if we ever need to come back here, we can just leave that as a drop-off point. No bears. That's right. Game of the year. No bears. And I'll come back for that stuff. Ooh. Well. Didn't realize there were giant fossils in this game. A dragon, maybe? That's interesting. What's up, Delta Mouse? It was indeed a great trip. I don't even know what the intended route is to get up there. I just kind of found my own shortcut before.
I do like how we can pretty much build wherever. That's the intended way. Testing, testing. One, two, one, two. Oh, the signal's much stronger now. Can you hear me properly? My name is Ulf, and uh, I live on the planet next door. The big red one. The reason I'm contacting you is, well, I'm in a spot of trouble i run botanic experiments on the local flora but i've run out of supplies it would be a huge help if you could send some my way if it's not too much of a Ooh, bother can we uh, trade i promise i'll make it worth your while thank you wait what does that mean we're gonna be able to trade with this guy or what? Request, uh, accept a request from Ulf. Like here? Oh, yeah. Glow fruit galore, wheat field, carrot oil delivery. Oh, we can get money this way. Deliver 150 wheat for, wow, 10,000? Whoa. That's a crazy amount of money. Okay. Is there like a time limit? You, you'll really do it. You, you'll really do it. I hope it's not a bother to you. No, that's fine, dude. All right. Okay, well that's cool. More than just trading, we also have quests. Okay. He's been trying to contact me about my mech's extended warranty. I bet he was. I bet he was. Okay, well that's what we should do first then, is head back to the merchant buy a bunch of wheat seeds and then we'll we'll get 10,000 bucks by growing like 150 wheat it's gonna take a while but uh, at least we now have a uh, like a goal oh, that's already 20% cleaned oh, that's RTB oh that was cool We can go get stuff from that extra box if we need it. Ulf sounds like red just a bit. It is red. So how do we deliver that to him though? Do we just go back to the tower? It's actually kind of a cool little unexpected thing there. Alright, well, I'm starting with the wheat farming. That's what I'm going to do. Sorry. Maybe we should leave the mech behind if we want to get close. Okay. Oh, did I leave all the seeds in that box? I did. That's right. Now, now we can focus on farming. I'll go get those tomorrow morning, and we'll focus on farming only. Then I should turn in those shards to that lady when she comes back. Maybe we can sell some of the paint.
grows into gravel gourd. Also, he wants a uh, care root oil, which is pretty easy. I think we have a bunch of that. Yeah, we're gonna need a bigger shed. I've been trying to unlock a barn, but uh, it requires—I think it requires now iron. And I haven't found iron yet. Oh, look at this! It's raining. Today, huh? good to have more crops in the Damn weeds. Oh, we got stone dust now, too. Okay, let's make a run back to the thing to get our stuff. Where was that jump? It was like east. Oh, right here, I think. There we go. Yeah, the copper and the care roots are found in an area known as the, um, I think it's the edge cliffs, yeah. So you have to, you have to clean up that area first. When you clean it up, then you see under resources where it says care root and copper ore. It's like a big old tree on the map too. That's where it is. Copper on our way back to. Oh, it's over there. Oh, I see why I was confused. The marker is on the ground and not on the hill. There we go. Okay, we're going to get a bunch of this uh, aluminum and stuff, and then we're going to head back to base and start farming. Only farms. We're going to start our only farms page. You're going to subscribe to the channel? Well, thank you for subbing. Welcome aboard, everybody. Thank you to everybody who subscribes to the channel. Welcome to all the followers. Thanks for hanging out. All right. Oh, is uh, she back? Oh, she is. Don't you leave. Hola. See anything you like? Would you like to buy those? Yes. You have a hard bargain. And then I, like I will buy a bunch of wheat seeds, please. Thanks, ma'am. Yo, Grizzadak, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Hey, on your only fa farms page, do you have any beat picks? <laughs> Good one. Oh, my gourd. You nasty. There's got to be, you guys have been asking about automation too, and I'm, I'm not sure. There's got to be something we unlock eventually. Either something we can buy or 
Either it's a blueprint that maybe that lady will offer randomly, or maybe... Uh... Something. Probably by, like, uh, discovering iron or something like that, but... I'm gonna do the wheat stuff first, and then we're gonna work on the uh, mech upgrades. See if we can get more material for that, like copper and whatnot. Yo, Midnight, thanks for the five. Thank you so much for helping. This is my first ever gift I sent to anyone on YouTube. Yeah, and even put a one in the uh, chat next to your name. Thank you very much for the five. Appreciate you. Yeah, just keep in mind, if you're looking for anything in this game, uh, if you hover over a region, it'll tell you maybe... W you, you gotta kind of find it first, but it will tell you how much is there. So here we've got four items. Two of them are question marks, so we still gotta check around the Stepstone Peak a little bit more. But if you found anything, it will tell you uh, that you found it there. But the edge cliffs I know have copper ore. Aluminum is found in the Pine Heights and in the meadows. Oh, and copper apparently is also found in the lowlands. Very nice. <clears throat> Eyes21 with the Twitch Prime sub too. Thank you very much. We got a hype train rolling over on Twitch. All aboard. Hell yeah. Fresh soil makes safe. Gotta be like an easier way to do all this. Right oh, you can, oh, you can left click. Oh. That's how you... Oh, I didn't know that. I bought this I bought this uh, upgrade, and I didn't know how the hell to use it. So if you tag all the spots, then right uh, hit right trigger. Okay, that's how to do it. I didn't know th I didn't know that's how you did that. So when you buy that seed shooter upgrade, that's how you do it. I had no idea. Yeah, Pog. I had no idea. All right, well, he wants a bunch more... Care roots. Let's go get those too. Can I mark like multiple? Oh, you can. Oh, there's limit. Okay, so up to nine. Wait to see it grow up. Well, that's some good automation, kind of. Into the soil it goes. Oh my god, this didn't save so much time. I had no idea. Oh, that's great. And now they're all watered. Yo, Alloy. <coughs> Alloy, thank you very much for the 35 months. Happy birthday. Only 30 days to silver. All right, you'll be silver back, too, in a month. Early congratulations. Thanks for the birthday wishes, too. Uh, excuse me. Ryan Reynolds. He's down here at the farm. Okay, so now we're going to grow the wheat. I haven't found glow fruit yet, and care root oil we should have in a few days. Or we have it now. Um, Alright, well while we wait, let's get some upgrades. So what can we get? Yeah, we're... S <laughs> yeah, that's the mech from uh, Helldivers 2. We're spreading democracy that way. Okay, power core I haven't discovered, iron I haven't discovered, red lens, I'm not sure what that is yet. This one we should be able to do, aluminum electronics and care root oil, but we got to make it. Power core I haven't discovered, red, red lens, I don't know how to make that yet, a battery. Okay. MPH, thank you very much for the eight months as a raptor egg. Sixty-two percent on that Twitch hype train. If you have Twitch Prime exclamation point Twitch in the YouTube chat, you guys can jump over there and drop off your sub and keep the train a rolling. All aboard, baby! Let's go. So I want. Um, what did I want to do? Oh yeah, I wanted to go to the assembler. 
Yeah, there's... Oh, clay. That's new. Oh, we can make clay from stone dust. All right, let's see what that gets us. Garden gnome, bush pot, brick fence, large plot. Oh, we can do big plots now. All right. How big is that? That's great. Unfortunately, after I uh, planted all of our seeds, but that's okay. What is that thing? Oh, a furnace, too. Create new resources. Ah, that's probably how we make glass. And a solar dehydrator. Uh, dries plants with the power of the sun. Right, I definitely want to make the furnace. Okay. So let's get some more stones. And we'll try to put those in the thing to grind all that up. Wow, an MPH dropping five gifted memberships for chat too. Member bomb emote. Member bus. Pulling away. Okay, so I guess we're going to go get a bunch more uh, stones. Dude, things are really taking off now. We're, we're making a lot of progress. Unlocking all these equipment. I need to get a damn barn, though. I want, a, I want a barn. I want a barn. All right. We go find some stones. Okay, so now we can make big farm plots and a few other things through clay. We're going to find particular... Certain rocks. Particular rocks. Do you have everything I need to make stuff, or does it pull from the storage boxes? Yeah, you have to have it on you. Yeah, everything you want to make, you got to pull from the box yourself. But I guess the alternative good thing to that is that... Uh, you can build boxes wherever you want. So if you're in the field and you get over encumbered, you can just build a box right there and then uh, come back later and pick it all up. Which is nice. Okay, and we got a geode from that too, so now we get something to trade with that lady. Noxious. Oh, we should make that too then. Can I cancel? Yeah. Okay, let's make not noxious spores too and see what that gives us. New recipe unlocked. Boom, boom, boom. Yours seems like it's pulling from the box. Oh, maybe it does. Well, maybe it depends on where you've built the, the thing. The weather's really nice. Uh oh. Let's get out there and seize the day. Hold on. Danger. We're under attack. No. Leave my wheat alone, damn it. I knew you could do it. 
Damn, they got a couple of them. Only a couple, though. Not bad. Yeah, we delivered de <laughs> democracy. Ah, we gotta water these two? Okay. Hey, we got the noxious spore now. Oh, that's how we make the power core. Okay, now we can make power cores. Sweet. And those noxious spores or the, the things I think we can only get from those falling seeds. So now we can make those. Okay. Um, boy. We're unlocking a lot of stuff. So power core requires eight noxious spores. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we were defending wheat for uh, Super Earth. Yeah. Now I want to build like two of everything, like another grinder, so we can get one making clay all the time, so we can make upgrade all of our plots. I bet I have just the thing you need. Here you go, ma'am. Let me take that off your hands. Oh, I have three of these. You drive a hard bargain. I like it. Now uh, wheat seeds. these things are decorative a teddy bear of course every game has to have a bear a wheelbarrow a well decorative well water not included oh if you're gonna charge 1400 for it at least let the players like put it wherever wherever they want water pump does not pump water well the f f doing business with you Kind of a scam is that? Okay, um, we need a few more of those to make a power cell. While we wait, let's water. Yeah, we need the non-functioning water pump for our farm. Oh uh, yeah, we're going to upgrade the mech. I need... Um, I'm making power cores now by... Um, doing something with the spores. We're grinding them up right now. And it's so t hard to tell if you've watered the wheat. I, I just can't tell. Okay, let's make a power cell. Power core. Okay, what does that do? I think we need more than one. Increased thruster boost, allowing the mech to jump higher and stay in the air for longer. We just need more ravage oil for that. Okay. Let's get down. All right, that's cool. We can take care of that one. Maybe, maybe it does pull from these boxes. Uh, it's got to be interlinked somehow, but I'm not sure. Oh, we need 50. Time for some action. 50 we need. Bum, bum. The 
big old water gun. Well, it'll be a big old thruster next. We do need a big old water gun, though. I need to. Uh, I need to upgrade this gun. Okay, let's check watering. Oh, we'll get to play some Stardew later today too, chat. It's a good week for cozy farming games. Stardew Valley's got a free update as of today, 1.6. This game's out today on Game Pass and, like, Steam. Good. Uh, when you build something, uh, it's yellow marks around the farm. Um, well, there's, like, a yellow... Uh, there's a white dotted line around certain buildings. But I think that's... If you build a shed and then you build, like, a assembler or something in the shed, I think it makes it more efficient, faster somehow. But I was saving a lot of my materials for uh, a barn, but I haven't gotten that yet either. So I guess you know something needs to be watered if there's little blue boxes. Only way to tell. But I like fishing minigame in Stardew, yeah. I thought the best one I played recently, though, was uh, in... Um, Uh, what was the name of that game? It was like that... It was kind of like Chrono Trigger. They were kind of doing a Chrono Trigger remake. Um, sea of Stars, I think it was. I like that fishing minigame. That felt like an actual battle. Hey, what's up, Chris? Welcome. Okay, I, I, I think I got them all because I'm not seeing any blue squares anymore. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to say we got them. Oh, I had to spend all day watering those. Jeez. It'd be nice to get some sort of upgrade that can take humidity from the air and, like, passively and slowly upgrade the, uh... Or fill up the water. I think we needed 50. And we needed, uh... Oh, we only needed 5 root oil for Ulf that way. Okay. I think we got him. Let's go to bed. Hopefully we won't be attacked like we were yesterday. Day 25. Rise and shine, Exo Farmer. Don't forget to water your crops today. Well, good Otherwise, morning. it'll be a bit tough for them to grow.
Oh, is the wheat ready? Indeed it is. What am I going to do with all this wheat? Well, when we get to 150, we're going to give it to uh, our friend Ulf, who will give us $10,000 for it. So it, it's that's a pretty that's a pretty good amount. Good trade. And then with the, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna grow more than that, and then we're gonna try to decorate the house with some hay bales and stuff, which apparently will make it good. Damn true farming, bro. Yeah, ten thousand. Big, big farmer Masuk. for resources. And uh, meh. I need to grow some rabbage too so we can make more oil for Ulf as well. Or rather for some of our upgrades. I should have grown some of that, but that's okay. Now we're actually doing some farming. It's been a few days since we've been doing some farming. The wheat looks very pretty. Gotta build that big flar uh, farm plot too, although I'm not sure what we can do with that. Yeah, you can get out of the mech. I wonder what we look like. Oh, you can't. Okay. Uh, when you go to a piece of equipment like an assembler and hit E on it, top right it'll tell you how many storage boxes are within range. Oh, it's a range thing. Okay. Well, then that means when we build a barn, we'll probably put all of our storage on one side and then all of our assemblers on the other. Although I think the game still, when it's done making stuff, throws it on the ground. It doesn't put anything into storage. I think. Hey, buddy. Hey, you want a treat? Okay. I don't have nothing. 
Uh, there might be automated watering. I, I haven't found it yet, though. I'm not sure. I'm make a bunch of this oil, though. We might be able to sell it or give it to Ulf later. Okay, so we just need like 150 wheat, so we should have that in a couple of days. I should be able to turn in two quests pretty easily. The wheat and the carrot oil, or the carrot oil. And then glow fruit, I haven't found that yet, but that's fine. We'll get around to that. Some things you just have to do yourself. Okay, clear lens, I haven't been able to make that yet. So we can make the spike saw power 2 upgrade. We just need 18 carrot and aluminum. Oh, we can get this one. Is this either or or both? Increase the damage of the spike saw, allowing it to break materials in fewer hits. Oh, well, let's get that one for sure. Nice. And then the thruster booster, we gotta make two more ravage oil. And then, okay, yeah. Alright, let's get to Yeah, 150 wheat for 10,000 bucks, yeah. That's a, that's a great deal. And then from that, we should be able to buy a lot of seeds from our lady friend over there. Oh, drones for watering? That'd be cool. Okay, well, let's put down a furnace. Oh, there you go. Storage within range 10, yeah. I, if you put it under shelter, it gives a bonus, though. And I don't want to keep making these little sheds. I want the barn. But let's at least make a furnace and see what happens. Nice thing about this game, too, is that you can just delete something when you're... Like, when you're done with it. I think you get a full refund. Okay, so we're going to have to make clay from that when that's ready. Uh, that I don't know about. Oh, there's the mansion. Uh, that's going to be too expensive. For now. There's the garden gnome. I wonder if all this fencing counts as decoration. Oh, it does, yep. It does decoration. There's the large plot. Um, hmm. I thought that would at least be like a two by two. This looks like it just gives you one more column and one more row. So those are what, three by three? This looks like it'll be like a four by four. Four by four? Hell yeah, brother. Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. You glad you found the live stream? Well, good, Midnight. Thank you for watching. We've got a great community here, so thanks for being part of it, everybody. You're all part of the fun, so thank you. For participating in all the mandatory fun. Mm-hmm. really good. You're locked in for the mandatory fun? Good. As is mandatory. Okay, and we need clay. And I think clay we just make from stone dust here at the assembler? Okay. Yeah. What's the ratio? One to one? Oh, wow, yeah. I'll make ten. Oh, 
Oh, I need one more. There we go. Okay, so now what can we make? Oh, we can make clear glass. Okay. Ah, oh, that's what the coal is for. All right. So red glass will help us to make the red lens, and the clear glass will help us to make the clear lens. Cool. Give me a full thing of five, then. I feel like my base is really messy now. Well, maybe not. The farm's actually quite nice. Although, honestly, every time you play a building game for the first time, you never know how much space that you're going to need to put all... Like, one, you don't know how like what you're going to be building in the game, and two, you don't know how big it is. So sometimes you can make your base way too big and sometimes way too small. And that could be a little annoying. Yeah, yeah. Bum, 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 bum. So the furnace is a minute and 30 seconds to make one. Yeah, that's true. We can get organized when we unlock the barn. Yeah, when we unlock the barn, I'm just going to delete all the stuff here except for, like, the house and remove everything around. What's up, Usman? Hello, welcome. Oh, there's some more glass. There we go. We can make bottles and clear lenses now. Okay. And then... Can I do any upgrades here with this now? We can do one with two, three red lenses for the vacuum harvester range. Oh, we we'll also need springs. That's probably going to take iron. Did I give a name to the farm yet? Uh, Hidden Valley Ranch. Pepperidge Hidden Hidden Pepperidge Ranch. <laughs> Powered by uh, Sprint, a subsidiary of T-Mobile. Can you go in the house? You can sleep by like going to the house, but you can't go inside. No. I I feel like the house is really small, even. When we're ourselves. I feel like this is really small. Oh, little mech. Uh, yeah, little mechs for watering. That'd be cool. Mint mobile? Don't even start chat. Okay, let's throw some red glass in there now. And let's hit the hay. Uh, so far, a lot of things have been manual, but there are upgrades to make the manual farming very easy. But I'm not, I'm not, we're playing this for the first time, so I'm not sure what else might be automated. But it is raining, so we don't have to worry about that now. No more watering for a little bit. Okay, so now we've got the red lens unlocked. What does that do? I think it's just needed for upgrades. Should probably build another f furnace then. Okay, so that means we've got to make more clay. And we need more wood. Oh, and some of the carrots are ready.
And same with some more of the wheat. Excellent. Okay, let's make... Yeah, powered by Mint Mobile. Everything on this farm is powered by Mint Mobile. I'm going to have to grow some Ravages now. Uh, what was the other thing I needed? Oh yeah, wood. We're going to go get some wood. More wood is needed. Okay, so now let's finish the other furnace so we can make some glass and some red glass. Apparently we're making a church. One more. Okay, and we'll have two furnaces going. Yay! Okay, so then clear glass, and that requires stone dust. So now I need more of that. So then maybe I should build another one of these. This takes, what, five minutes or oh, one minute each? Well, it's not that long. But I think we probably want to double down on everything. Two furnaces. Etc. Very nice. Uh, do we have enough wheat for this guy now? 110, okay. Oh wait, 100 and... Well, we'll have a little. We'll have enough in it a little bit. What about those ravages? I think we need more rabbit ravage seeds. They're probably in the box. Oh, there's twenty right there. Okay, cool. Fresh soil makes safe. Nice day to uh, plant too because we've got raining. A rainy day. Alright, that's that's good. I think we're good. Okay, so we should have enough wheat tomorrow. Should have enough carrot oil now too. Yep. Okay, so the uh, wheat and the carrot oil are done. We just need to deliver them and just wait. And we got more stuff going here, too. Uh, if YouTube's giving you problems, just do a little, uh, like, refresh the stream. Or just check the gear. You know how it is. Every once in a while it gets a little, a little goofy. <laughs> yeah. Alright, cool. We're making a lot of stuff. I think the only thing I need now is iron. We need to go find iron from one of the biomes, and it's probably the, the southern one, the lowland plains, or maybe the mountainside coast, you know, iron in the mountains, or bog iron, like from the lowlands. Or maybe both of them have it, who knows? 
Who knows? I don't know. All I know is I like this game. We're going to keep playing this one. Now it's getting real interesting because we've basically started the automation um, and whatnot. Like we've kind of started the uh, more like the my time at Portia thing where you got to return and do that. All right. Well, that's it for today's stream of Lightyear Frontier. But there is another frontier we're going to go check out right now, everybody, live on the channel. We're going to go to a video on Falling Frontier, which is a game that's coming soon to Steam. And they've got some new gameplay footage, so I wanted to show it off. So we're going to jump over to a video there. And then I'll be back with more farming in just a little bit for Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley version 1.6 is out today. A big O update that includes a new farm and um, obviously new stuff to do, including drinking mayonnaise. So, yeah, I get excited for that one. So there's the uh, link to that. Click or tap that link right there. You'll be live redirected and or otherwise you'll be directed through YouTube. So make sure you click on that one. Otherwise, YouTube will probably throw you over to some other video somewhere else. But, uh, yeah, we'll be back in a little bit uh, tomorrow for more Light Your Frontier. And we'll be back in just a little bit for more Stardew Valley. Oh, yes. All right. I'll see you all in a little bit. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Let's go.